adding music to your game is one of the most rewarding processes of the entire uh, game development process, if you ask me. It adds so much life and passion to your game, and that's why we want to have a sweet tool that allows you to do it without uh, any frustrations. So we've created Music Control, uh, and let me show you how it works. If you go to FPS Control and open the editor, and you log in, you can click on Music Control here to launch up Music Control. And as you see, when as soon as I clicked that, it selected a game object inside of the hierarchy called Music Manager, because all the changes that we'll be adding here are written to that game object. Now, the important to notice here is that the Music Manager is a child of the player. And uh, that's because you want the music to play right by where the player is so that it moves with the player rather than the player moving away from the music. So that's, of course, uh, very important. So I recommend keeping the Music Manager there. Now, Music Manager comes with uh, two options. It allows you to add a music track or an effect track. An effect track is an eff a track that can be played on top of the music. A music track uh, will fade from one to the next when a new one is triggered. So that's exactly how that works. Now, of course, it's very easy to add a music track. All you have to do is click Add Music Track, toggle it open, and you can change the features here. Now, at this point, there's no audio file associated with this music track. So if I go to my uh, Assets here, and then I click on Music, then we have uh, the option here to add multiple folders of music that you'd like. Uh, our friend and composer for video games, Sean Henry, has added a couple of free samples for his video game music bundle number two, which is also advertised on GamePrefabs.com. Um, and he's been as generous to give this two away for free. If you want to know more about his work, open the More Music PDF that's included. However, I'm going to take one of these and drag them in as an audio clip, and then it asks us to give it a unique name. So we're going to name this one Tension Music, and then it asks us to give us the volume of this track. So I'm going to take that a little bit down from one, so like a point two or so. And it asks us, do you want to loop the track, which means by the time it's done, it's going to replay it rather than being a one shot off. So I'm just going to loop that, of course, because it's music, so that makes sense. I'm going to hit the Save button, and now these uh, tracks here have been saved, but they've not been triggered yet. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that in a minute, but before we do that, there's some other things to look at. If you have a lot of music in your game, of course, this list will get very long, so you can sort them by only showing effect tracks, or only showing music tracks, or both. Also, if you want to change the overall master volume of your game, just change the knob here that says master volume and change the master fade speed to uh, you know, make the speed with which tracks fade from one to another slower or uh, a longer envelope. All right, so that's pretty easy. Now let's take a look at how this works in the editor. I have a very simple level here just the cube, and as soon as the game runs, it starts with the default music that starts playing. However, you can also add your own music by adding sort of music zones, and you can make those whichever way you want. Um, you're not tied into our way of doing things one way or another, but I've already prepared one of you. So if you go to the environment here where I keep most of my uh, you know, uh, music, you can see that there's a floating box on top of everything, so the player does not collide with it, uh, when I run the game right now. Now, if I look at this um, item here, you can see that a script is attached called uh, Ambience. And so this script allows you to change the Ambience sound in this box. And in here, you can type the name. So we type music, tension music here, and that's the unique name that we've given it inside of the music control editor, as you recall right here, tension music. All right, let's go back to our combat room here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this down so that it overlaps in the world. And then from the top view, I'm going to move it forward towards the wall that has the subscriber die on it. So now what you're going to notice is that the music is going to change as soon as I walk in there. 
So let's do that right now. So this is just the normal music playing. And you heard that the music has changed pretty easily. As soon as I exit that box again, different music starts playing. Now, it's virtually unnoticeable by the player, other than, of course, the audio, but you can define where you want these zones to be. Now, there are two variables here in the Ambient script. One is the enter music name, so that is the name of the music that will be triggered when we enter, and the exit music name is the name of the music that will be triggered when we exit. Now, we did not set an exit music name, so it's going to take the default, and which was the song that was playing by the time we exited. So that is pretty much how you add um, music zones. Let me show you just real quick how to do it from scratch since I already had the box ready. All you have to do is go game object, create other, and then cube. And this will create a cube with, of course, a default material on it. So all you have to do is turn the mesh renderer off to make this just an empty box. Now, right now this box is going to keep you from running through it, so what we need to do is check the box is trigger with the box collider. So trigger means you can run right through it. And then what we do is we gotta make it bigger, so I'm gonna just scale it up here. There you go. Move it around a bit. And then what we need to do is add the ambience script so I'm just going to search for that. And there it is, ambience. Just add that on there and then type in the name Tension Music. And now, of course, I kind of spawn right in that box. See if the Y is correct. Yeah, it should be fine. So now it starts with that music right away. Until I walk outside of the box. Excellent. Well, that about wraps up the uh, music manager here. Of course, you can change the volume settings per track there individually. I noticed that this music loudness of those weren't exactly the same. So you can do that here or uh, set them all to one and use the master volume. So that about sums it up on how to very easily add music to your FPS control games environments. Awesome. I'm glad you, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you want, check out a couple more videos.